So the November games, uh, one of the first ones we get this weekend is Wales taking on Scotland. It's a strange fixture initially, um, just given that it's two teams that meet regularly in the Six Nations meeting in November. Um, I did have a look back through the last few years uh, to see if this has ever been a thing that two countries that meet fairly regularly would meet again in November and it doesn't seem to be a thing. Uh, I did seem to remember reading something that uh, this is partly going to be a charity game towards uh, a former Scotland player someone who's more educated on this will have to tell me uh, what to, what it's an aid of I believe it was motor neuron disease for a former player but I'm not too sure but yeah just overall as a fan I mean you usually see you know Australia New Zealand South Africa Argentina Japan Tonga Fiji all these kind of countries go up and play European teams so it's teams that apart from the touring and World Cups we don't usually get to see so Scotland and Wales again Cool. I mean, it's always going to be a good game, so there is that. Uh, they have met in the Six Nations, obviously, this year. It was a wee while ago now. Uh, in that game, it was 34 points to 7. From memory, it was a game where Scotland didn't perform as kind of expected, uh, having performed really well. I think it was the opening week of the Six Nations, and Scotland had performed pretty well at giving Australia a bit of a hiding in that... Um, it's a plane going over my house. Uh, there's a... Yeah, the result of Australia was, uh, was a big one in the previous year's um, tour. So for Wales just to come out and really, I mean, it was four tries to four tries to one, and it was a really late late try. So Wales absolutely dominated that game. Um, you know, put, put Scotland kind of to the sword in, in that game. Uh, it has been a while ago, but yeah, it was a really one-sided fixture. So we'll see if this, um, this repeat fixture is going to be any different all these months later. Um... I'll put the teams in the description so you guys can have a look, but a few of the kind of the talking points. Anscombe's at 10. Uh, I believe Bigger is just on form, not being selected. Uh, Patchell, I think, still dealing with issues with concussion, so we'll see how he goes. I think that number 10 jersey for Wales is kind of still a bit of a question. Who's going to get that top job going forward? Um, because there is multiple candidates, at least if there's nothing else, you're kind of blessed with a bit of depth there. Um... The back row looks pretty nice. You got Lydia Tipperick and Moriarty. Uh, I mean, another area. I mean, this Welsh squad at the moment, just generally in most positions, seem to have just so much depth. And the back row is probably the, the area where they go deepest, so it's pretty formidable. Uh, Luke Morgan's going to get his debut on the wing. Uh, I've seen a little bit of him in the Pro 14 this season, and um, yeah, he, he's looked impressive from what I've seen. So we'll see how he goes. Uh, in his debut for Wales. Uh, for Scotland, um, if you didn't know, Hogg has been out for a wee while, so he's not going to be playing. Uh, Blake Kinghorn is at 10, uh, sorry, 10, 15. Uh, I've been impressed with him um, from what I've seen of him. He looks like a good player, so we'll see how he goes in this game. Uh, Adam Hastings is at 10. Um, Finn Russell not in the squad this week, so he's a kind of up-and-coming young player. He's looked pretty impressive again from what we've seen of him so far this season. Only 22. Uh, I think he's had six caps for Scotland so far, so uh, impressive youngster. We'll see how he pulls the strings uh, against Wales in Wales, which is always a pretty tough uh, prospect. The front row is Dell McAnally and WP Nell. Um, so I did see read some comments with some people, um, some Welsh commenters um, on the Welsh Rugby Union's Facebook page. Questions about the Welsh front row, but we'll see how they go uh, against the Scottish lineup, which looks. Uh, pretty strong with them, um, especially McAnally and uh, WP Nell there. Uh, Wales by six is what the bookies are saying. So they're giving it a pretty close result, but obviously edging it to the home side. Uh, both these sides in June were, were pretty impressive. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen either of them play. Uh, Wales just ha had a perfect run on that tour. It was uh, a few experiments and a bit of chopping and changing, but the results were just were just stellar for Wales. Scotland, it was really, really, from memory, a really experimental team that a lot of kind of C or D position guys got runs. They did lose that one game uh, to America, but they, they beat Argentina comfortably and they beat uh, Canada. Uh, that mall was just devastating. So, But building in depth was what that June tour was for. So we'll see. I don't believe there's many players uh, who played in that last game who are playing in this game. I think it's only a handful, but I mean, 
Uh, that's all historical stuff now. So we'll see how they go in this game. It does look like an interesting one uh, as we kind of build towards World Cups. Both um, the World Cup, both teams will be looking to... Not that many games left really um, fix who is the best guy in what position. But we'll see how this game goes. You guys let me know your thoughts on the lineups, which is in the description. And um, whether you think Wales, six-point favourites is... Um, is about right. Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts and I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.